the Cup USA Florida Citrus Bowl. Two traditional powers who were at opposite ends of the spectrum a year ago are now on equal ground as they meet for the first time. Michigan's mighty defense rallied the Wolverines to a share of the Big Ten championship. Today, they're up against the Arkansas Razorbacks, who's won at a national title, hit a stumbling block, but are looking to cap an incredible season under first-year coach Houston Nutt. It all begins next with a Comp USA Florida Citrus Bowl on ABC. Razorback fans have arrived in style. Hog hats, suey calls all over town throughout the week. They are more excited about this team and this bowl game than they have been in some 10 years. And the Razorback set to take the field. And a great day of college football getting underway here in Orlando, Florida. As we welcome you to the Comp USA Florida Citrus Bowl, the Big Ten taking on the SEC as the Arkansas Razorbacks battle the Michigan Wolverines. Two-story program. The secondary that was one of the worst in the SEC, now they're number two. This guy, Tim, as you mentioned, he will be a head coach within the next three years. Clarence Williams gets the call on first down. He's got a big hole. Finally brought down inside Arkansas territory at the 45-yard line. A big game for Williams, the senior out of Detroit. He goes for 18. Yeah, see, and that's not something Keith Burns likes right there. That's something he'll adjust to in a hurry. He makes it, but he's that kind of teacher, that kind of coach. First down for the Wolverines. Going to tie streets wide open inside the 30. One-on-one -on -one with Orlando Green. No contest that time. And as long as they cover 101, it is going to be an advantage for Michigan. We can't overemphasize that. Watch this. As soon as he turns his back, Streets, who's in the, a tremendous receiver, reads that, makes his cut, picks up 18. It's going to be very difficult coverage. So we'll have to watch that all afternoon. And the Razorbacks' fortunate Streets went to the turf. There was no safety to come over and help. He may have been gone. There goes the A-train. Anthony Thomas straight ahead down to the 20-yard line. And the Wolverines moving the ball right now this year and Lloyd Carr was trying to correct that here's your matchup down at the bottom of the screen with streets they've been very good on third down Marcus Knight dropped the football and he had six it was streets who got all the attention and then what they did was bring Knight inside and try to get him under the safety Kennedy 29 they did have a beat that ball's got to be caught. It was perfectly thrown. Should not have been dropped. Jay Feely on for a try from 43 yards. That's a 43 yards. Got plenty of leg and inside the left out right. So Feely gets the Wolverines on the board with three, but Arkansas perhaps feeling fortunate. They should have had six. And Brady knew it. Pepper, McNabb, and McNown, and Bishop, but he's talented. He's a strong arm guy, very effective, very efficient, and extremely tough. Yeah, not impressive in the airport or the lobby, but he is on the field, and this time he goes to Michael Williams. Inside the five to the end zone. Williams with a touchdown catch, and the Razorbacks are on the board. Michael Williams, who had more catches than Anthony Lucas this year. He had 44 on the season, his sixth touchdown catch of the year. And the Razorbacks have seven on the board. They lead 7-3. Here today, including that touchdown catch. Laderet sends Anthony Thomas to his three. Here comes Thomas. Got a hold. Cut back to the 43. Check that, it's Clarence Williams who brings it back in for Anthony Thomas. So the good return and good field position for the Wolverines. Those are school records for Arkansas. Anthony Thomas looking for room, cutting back, still up, finally brought down at the 47 yard line. Where you pick the next play, who's going to carry the ball, who's going to catch it. Nick? Up comes up Monday night on the National Championship game. Ty streaks with a catch, spins away. Orlando Green chasing him down. He and Zach Painter get him at the 20. Great read by Brady. 
quick three-step drop, get it to him on the slant. Green overran the play, and then he just couldn't stop him. Now, Streets is not only tall, but he's fast. He's got those long, loping strides, deceptively fast. Covers five yards and two strides. Big play for the Wolverines. First and ten at the 20. Darrell in motion. Going to give it back to Clarence Williams, who cuts back. Got a first down. And run out of bounds at the nine-yard line. So the Razorbacks get to the end zone, but Michigan comes right back on the next drive, and they're inside the 10. Campbell's huge at 6'6", 260. Second and goal from the eight. Here come the Razorbacks. The fade, the streets. Well covered, and there was contact. There's the flag. David Barrett locked up one-on-one -on -one with Ty Streets, but he got the arms in there. Football. So it's first and goal at the two. Shea the fullback, Thomas the running back. There goes Anthony Thomas in the end zone. That's a touchdown. Aaron Shea, the fullback, led the way for Anthony Thomas. Is the point. What a great job on the Michigan offensive line. You roll it, and you stop right there, and you say, wait a minute, there's no hole. We stopped at the goal line, but the official down here in the right-hand corner saying Wilson got there late. The ball broke the plane. Touchdown, Michigan. Great effort. Thomas with the touchdown run. The man that led them sitting right next to him. 10-7, Michigan. And it's Williams up there with Smith at the top of your screen. First down, Sterner off play action. Plenty of time and plenty of room to run if he wants to. Throwing back almost picked off. And that is one that you know Clint Sterner is going to think of twice and say, why didn't I just tuck it and run? So it's second and ten. They run the draw to Chikuma. He bounces out. Tommy Hendricks wraps him up along with Dahani Jones. But a good game for Chikuma. A gain of five on the play. Comes a doctor. I mean, it is just one of those quality families that you like to hear about in college football. Wants to be a neurosurgeon, and there it's picked off by Ian Gold. He may get there. He's got Sterner to beat. Touchdown, Michigan. Gold with the interception and brings it back 46 yards to pay dirt. Take another look at the play. Here's Strutter. He's reading the zone. He throws it. His receiver fell down. Gold just sitting there. That is impressive. He just threw it right to him. It looked like it was intended for Gold. He takes it home. The senior out of Pensacola, Florida, on for a try. 42 yards away. Plenty of leg. Inside the left upright. And good. Out of the gun is Tom Brady. Under pressure, Tony back. They set it up to Thomas. And a blocker out ahead of him. Hughes have got a first down. And knocked out at the 42 yard line. Kenoy Kennedy made sure he got out of bounds. He's good. Second and ten. Here comes Painter on the blitz. Picked up nicely. Complete to Terrell with the spin move. Brought down at the 31-yard line. David Terrell, the freshman out of Richmond, Virginia. And credit Brady for picking up the blitz and getting rid of it. Academic All-American, he is a stud. They're coming after Brady again. They pick it up again. Over the middle to Streets. Inside the five this time. First and goal for the Wolverines. He caught it right in front of David Barrett. That one to Tom Brady because this ball is perfectly thrown. Watch the cut, fake outside, come back inside. Now he's got leverage, he's got the inside advantage, and the ball sitting there waiting for him. Tom Brady, perfect pass. Thomas, the long setback. That streaks to the near side. Thomas looks to get outside. He's going to get there to the end zone and a touchdown for the Wolverines. <laughs> Well, I tell you again, they bring the tight end to get out in front of him, but he even outruns his tight end. Thomas sees the flag. He sees there's no containment out there, and he just runs for the pylon. Time runs out here in the first half. 
So it's the Wolverines who have dominated this first half, 24 to 10. Coming up next, the National Car Rental Halftime Report. Let's take you right now to John Saunders and Tom Blackledge in the studio in New York.